Hello everyone, uh, so I just wanted to make a quick video to show how, uh, the problem that I have with the uh, IK stretch um, chain and to explain also uh, the, the, the reason why for me it's a problem. So let me create quickly the IK chain. So we'll imagine that it's a, it's a leg. Name once very quickly. This one will be top. This will be bottom. This one will be the whole vector and it doesn't have a parent. And this one will be the target and it doesn't have a parent either. So we can, um, I want to rotate that one so that. The x looks to what the um, whole vector, so it's 90 degrees, and true n active one, so both of them should be the x this way. Um, so now, if I go in pose mode, control shift c, and do kinematic. Here I put two for the chain and I'm going to do the whole vector. So here we have a nice IK chain that works the way we want, but not stretching. I'm just going to move these two in this layer and I'm going in edit mode to duplicate them, the chain to show the difference. So here we'll call them stretchy. Okay. So now when I go back to uh, pause mode, I didn't do anything so it still acts uh, non stretch. Um, so if you look in the uh, IK constraint, you can see that it's already checked, but to uh, be able to have that chain stretchy in Blender, you still need to go into the bone and formation, and in inverse kinematic, you need to add a value here. So let's add a very small value to both of them. So 0 0.01 in both of them. And now it is stretchy. Okay, so it seems that it acts the way that we want. But if we compare the two, first, you can see that the stretchy has already moved even in the uh, pose position, in the rest position. No, but in the pose position, when nothing has moved, the stretchy has already moved, which already is adding a little pop. Now, if I move the target, you can see that the two different chains act in a very, very different way. Even before it reaches the maximum of the IK chain, which usually in other software, it would go straight and then stretch. But this one, you can see that it, in Blender, it's stretching even before it uh, uh, reach the maximum length of a non-stretchy one. So that's where I'm, I don't really understand how to work with a stretchy, um, stretchy thing in a Blender, uh, because right now you can see that if you add to the do um, a switch between the two, you will have a big pop. And so the only solution that I find to to add that to a rig is to have an FK chain, an IK chain, and a stretchy chain, and to have a slider between the two, to, not to have a pop. But I don't think that's the best solution. Anyway, I just wanted to illustrate my problem. Have a good day.